you had indicated before that you had uh, uh, always wanted to go to Vancouver. Tell us about being cast as Master Bray Tech. Yeah, I always wanted to go to Vancouver because my wife and I had uh, had gone through. We, we took our first vacation together in 1983 and went to Banff Jasper, Rock, Canadian Rockies, flew yeah. into Vancouver, took the train across. So we fell in love with Vancouver because it was summer. <laughs> so it was summer. And it was, no, there's no, it's as glorious a place as you can imagine in summer. So uh, I was always jealous. My friends were working in Vancouver. I never got the opportunity. So I did Mask of Zorro. I was only home a week or so. Agent called, uh, audition. Stargate, I had seen the movie and enjoyed the movie. Uh, this 133 year old blank, blank, blank shoots up in Vancouver and uh, it was the 4th of July weekend. So I really, oh. you know, what do you do on the 4th of July weekend? You know, I mean, after you, you celebrate, you yeah. some, I had time, so I really worked on the script. Uh, and I was really prepared for the audition and uh, I really wanted to go to Vancouver. <laughs> and <laughs> sure enough, you know, it happened, and one of the things I think made it happen, uh, there's a special time for an actor after they finish a big film where they're sort of hot because the film hasn't come out and hasn't been a success or a flop yet, but there's a possibility that you could get this guy and he's just going to... So I think, it, you know, it makes, it makes those little things make a difference. I think uh, uh, that having just come off the film, I also did an audition I was very pleased with. Uh, and uh, so that's sort of how it all came together. And now you probably want to hear the story about when I arrived and then realize I'm, I'm worried about the makeup. Uh, uh, Jan Newman, right? Jan Newman. <laughs> I'm sorry, so probably some of the people have heard the story. I'm sorry, but- No, please. I, yeah. So I, I arrive and I think, you know, and, and you know, my wife, if, I, if I'm working in Oklahoma or if I'm working in, uh, uh, some other places say that are not as desirable uh, to visit uh she will not come but boy vancouver new orleans those types of mexico she'll come so she she was so excited to come back but now i realize oh my god she's going to be here we want to enjoy the town as well as do this work and i'm playing 133 year old guy what do we it's going to be a makeup chair 4 30 in the morning i'm going to be fried and so I get there, I do my uh, wardrobe fitting, which is great. I'm going to leave. And they, the second AD say, hey, 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 makeup key, Jan wants to see you. And I'm thinking, here it comes. You know, uh, you know can we shave your head? Can we, you know, some, something. You know, and, and I go in and she just looks at me. So did it. She said, oh, you're perfect as you are. And all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I'm 133, I'm perfect as I am. But uh, now you're insulted. <laughs> no. Now I'm insulted, but guess what? I have never, with Braytech at least, I have never met a fan who says, oh, you've gotten old. You see, you can't say that about Braytech. You started at 133. I mean, you know, the guy's always going to look good. He's always going to be, you know. Someone in chat, I was, I was peeking in. Someone said, there's no way he's 69. So <laughs> they're like, no, nah, that's not possible. He looks younger than that. So there you uh, go. I feel younger than that. When you get to be 69, you realize you're absolutely not you're, 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 you're naughtiest 15. Always. It's always there. You may not act on it. But. <laughs> so you spent a lot of time on location for that episode and you really got to experience the outdoors. But tell me about the weight of that initial costume. You know, first season, well, they had not really tweaked the costumes yet as they did as the, oh, the story man. went on. No, it was uh, it was very heavy. But uh, you know, first, let me say, you know, working outdoors. You know, everyone. I got such a welcome from people when I went back, from the crew and everything. They just could not have been nicer. And then I always realized the other shoe would fall because they realized if Braytac was back, we were going to a gravel pit. There was going to be some. <laughs> <laughs> so they were going to have to. There were a few pits time. in Vancouver that did oh just that. God. Yeah, the, I, I spent so much time there. But um, yeah, the the wardrobe, as an actor, what I hate is if you have very uncomfortable things that add nothing 
to the depiction of the character. There's not, you know, there, there's someone else's idea of something. You have no connection to them. You just have to wear a funny hat that goes. It, it has to go to the left. It has nothing to do with the character. It's because the other one is going to the right. So you're, you're, you're trying to juggle it. But with, I never resented the clothes uh, for Braytac, which were very heavy. The, the, uh, there was chain mail. There were uh, plastic pieces, there were robes, there were uh, capes. I mean, it was probably, I'd say 50, 50, 60 pounds. It's like and this boots. guy right here next to me. Oh, oh my God. And then you're talking about that guy, you know. <laughs> With the helmet. Nomadic head, oh yeah. Right. You know, but it looks so good. And one, one thing about carrying a lot of weight all day is that when you take it off at the end of the day, you feel like if for the people that have played basketball or wore ankle weights, it's that light feeling you feel. Uh, so I, I, always, I always enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy is not the right word. I, I was always very tolerant of it. Although sometimes, and this is Jan, you know, they would, you know, with the heat in that first episode, man, it was hot. Yeah, quite hot with my, you know, they'd lift my my little cap and literally yeah. water would pour out. Yeah, because your oil goes out of the top of your head. Oh, yes, yeah, 30 percent of your heat. Right. Uh, believe me, I know. Uh, so, so Jan, Jan, I, I, to this day, she'd have a little thing with ice and she'd have face cloths in it with uh, sea breeze. And she put them on the back of your neck and on your wrists and everything. But there was a funny thing that happened once that I'll never forget. You know, they put they put your makeup on and they have to put sunscreen. Again, you're out in the sun. And I have my little, um, my little... Uh, uh, tattoo. Tattoo. Yep. My, my little golden guy. And uh, I guess, there, you know, sometimes, the, the, you know, time went by and they didn't do it. And when they took it off, <laughs> I sort of had a tan. <laughs> had you're no kidding. <laughs> yeah, very, very faint. <laughs> she said, oh, well... Yeah, I guess we'll be more careful with the sunscreen <laughs> tomorrow. But it's, uh, but I said, oh, hey, we know what the positioning is now. You, know, <laughs> you can line like it that. right back up. Forget the yeah. Polaroids. Well, it's so funny. You know, and there's always the joke. People are fascinated. You know, when you go to a con, they're saying, how did they, how did they attach that? And particularly when, if it's a young boy or girl, I'll look at them very seriously and say, oh, my tattoo? said they use the nail gun. And I can always see them that their eyes... <laughs> It's good like that. You're bad, uh, Tony. I am. Bad, but, you know, I love I love that. But that's, you know, the great thing with the uh, Yeah, and, and every every so often because we've been around so long, it, the parrot will say, "Yeah, he told me that joke too." <laughs> do you know the do you know the in canon story of how it's done? No, what's so, that? So so a certain uh, Jaffa or gold knife is used to cut the oh, flesh yes. and then pure molten gold is poured in. Pure so molten gold. It's like it's pretty if intense. If you're lucky, it's gold. Right. If you're lucky, it's gold. If, right. If, if, if you're a peon, it's not. Right. It's yeah. some kind of silver or something. Absolutely. Silver, yeah. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.